Section 3.3 talks about percentiles and what we call box and whisker plots. Percentiles are a value such that P percent of the data fall at or below it. So here's an example. So let's say you scored a 90% on your first statistics test. This was your score. This is what would be recorded in the grade book. But then you're also told that this was the 82nd percentile. Percentile means at or below. So if you were asked what percentage of scores are at or below yours, that would be the 82%. So what that means is 82% of the rest of the class scored a 90 or below. So what percentage of the scores are above yours? That would have to be the 8% because that would represent 100% of the data. So that's kind of just a quick rundown on what percentiles are. Now, what we're going to look to do is create what are called quartiles. And what this does is it splits the data into four equal parts. And the easiest way to remember that, quartiles, I think a quarters, four quarters make a dollar. So you're going to take your set of data and you're going to divide it into four equal parts, each part representing 25% of the data. Well, in order to do that, we have to find what is called quartile one, quartile two, and quartile three. Looks like this is a little off here, this quartile three. All right, now what you will first do, if you'll look down here, gives me the steps to take. First thing that you have to do is place your numbers in order from the smallest to the largest. And then what you're going to do is you are going to find the median of your complete set of data. This is quartile two. So you'll always find quartile two first. And then what you'll do, so if we found quartile two, we would find this value first. Then we would disregard the top half of the data use the lower 50% and then we would find the median of the lower 50% and that's my quartile one. And then we would find the median of the upper half of the data and that is my quartile three. When creating a box and whisker plot, we will find what is called the five number summary. Well, we just talked about quartile one, two, and three. So those three numbers are part of the five number summary. The other two are your smallest number and your largest value. So let's take a look at three examples that I have and only find the five number summary. So this says find the five number summary. Be sure the numbers are in order. So again, to find the five number summaries for eventually a box and whisker plot. The numbers have to be in order from smallest to largest. And I think for all three of my examples, I have already taken care of that, but that will not always be the case when you do problems on web assigned. So make sure they are in order. So my smallest number is four. My largest number is 22. That's easy. Now what we're gonna do is find our quartiles. Well, we always find quartile two first. Now remember, that is your median, okay? So I take all of these numbers. Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine numbers. So I need the middle number or the median. So remember to find the location of the median. That is N plus one divided by two. So that would come up to, what is that? Nine plus one is 10 divided by two is five. So it's the fifth number. So one, two, three, four, five. Here is my fifth number. So 15 is quartile two. And what that does is we have four numbers that are below and four numbers that are above. So it cuts it in half. 
Now, to find quartile one, we're gonna use all the numbers that fall below quartile two. So we're gonna use the four, seven, eight, and 12, and we're gonna locate the median of these four numbers, which would be seven plus eight divided by two, which is 7.5. Then to find quartile three, so let's see, seven and a half would be right here. So there's quartile one. That 15 is quartile two. So then quartile three, we will use 15, 21, 21, 22. The median of these four numbers would be between 21 and 21. Well, when you take 21 plus 21, divided by two, you get 21. So it falls between these two, even though it's the same number. So we have two, 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 and two. So my five number summary is four, 22, seven and a half, 15, and 21. All right, second example. Again, the numbers are already placed in order. So my smallest value is four, my largest is 25. I'm going to find the median of the set of numbers, and that's my quartile 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 numbers. So the location of the median, 10 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 5.5. So that tells me it's between the fifth and sixth number. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So quartile two falls between those two numbers. So 14 plus 16 divided by two is 15. So right there is your quartile two. So to find quartile one, we would look at four, seven, eight, 12, and 14. And the middle number is the eight, so quartile one is eight. Quartile three, we would use 16, 21, 21, 22, 25. And there's your middle number, so quartile three is 21. So my five number summary is four, 8, 15, 21, and 25. And then the last example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my smallest number is 7. My largest is 19. Now, I'm going to do something real quick. I thought I'd made the change. I'm going to change this 13 to a 10 because I want to talk about something that sometimes happens and I don't want you to be confused on it. Okay, so quartile two, we're gonna find the median, there's six values. So the location of the median is six plus one divided by two, which is 3.5. So it tells me it is between the third and fourth number. One, two, three, and four. Okay, here's what I want to point out to you. Notice we have 10, 10, 10, but the median is between these two numbers. Now, I understand, and what I want you to see is that when you find the median, it's going to be 10 plus 10 divided by 2, which is 10. But for purposes of the box and whisker and quartiles, the location is between these two numbers. So here's my quartile two, and the reason that's important is because when you go to find quartile one, even though this value is a 10, you're gonna use seven, eight, and 10, and the quartile one will be eight, and then for quartile three, you're gonna use 10, 10, 19, And quartile three is gonna be that 10 as well. So this one was a little bit of a weird case 
but sometimes that can happen, so I want to be sure and show you sometimes when the numbers are a little weird, but you still hold true to the steps. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a set of numbers, we're going to find its five number summary, and then we're going to go ahead and also then create the box and whisker plot. So again, these numbers are already in order. I cannot guarantee that when you do your web assign problems that they will be, so you want to be sure and place them in order first. All right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers. So n equals 12. The smallest value is 2. The largest value is 25. And now what we're going to do is find quartile 2. And quartile 2 is your median. So the location of my median is, so the location, I'm going to do it up here, just give myself some room. This is for quartile 2, is 12 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 6.5. So that tells me it's between the 6th and the 7th number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, between the 6th and the 7th number. So quartile 2 is going to be 5 plus 6 divided by 2, or 5.5. So now we have three of our numbers. So here's where quartile 2 is. So now to find quartile 1, I'm going to only use the lower half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the median of the lower half is between that 3 and that 4. So it would be 3 plus 4 divided by 2, which is 3.5. And then to find quartile 3, I'm going to look at the upper half of the data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So quartile 3 is going to be between that 13 and that 14. Which would be 13.5. So if you'll notice, it has four equal parts, each part having three numbers. So here is my five number summary. These are the five numbers that are going to allow us to create a box and a whisker plot. So let's look at how to do that. Make a number line that will reach from 2 to 25. Alright, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And the reason I chose 2 and 25 is because 2 is my smallest value in my data and 25 is my largest. All right, above, notice this is in bold. It doesn't go on the line, but above the line, Make dots above the five numbers you found in the five number summary. All right, so my smallest value was a 2. My largest value was a 25. Quartile 1 was 3 and a half. Quartile 2. is five and a half. Quartile three is thirteen and a half. So there's my five number summary. Make whiskers from the smallest value to quartile one and from quartile three to the largest value. So this is where my whiskers are. Draw a box from quartile 1 to quartile 3. And then draw a vertical line for quartile 2. So what we've done is we have four parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. 25% of the data falls within the distance of this whisker. 25% of the data falls within quartile 1 to quartile 2. 25% of the data, and you'll notice it's more spread out from quartile 2 to quartile 3, 
and then 25% of the data is from quartile three to the largest number. So this gives me a visual that the upper half of the data is spread out or the distance is further apart than the lower half of the data. So it just gives us a visual or a picture of what is going on. The last thing that you may be asked to calculate is what is called the interquartile range. And what that is, is quartile three, which in our case was 13.5, minus quartile one, 3.5, which is 10. Basically, it's saying there's 10 units from this side of the box to this side of the box. That completes 3.3.